So recently went to a trip to the LA area. Um, I don't actually live that far from LA. It's just the traffic makes it really hard to get there. So I don't get to go very often. And when I do, I make it a point to stop by all the cool Japanese anime related stores and Koreatown. Um, I try to make all the stops in one day or go to as many as I can before they close. So this is a haul of what I got yesterday when I went. First stop I made was to Japan LA. And uh, they sell really cool Sanex, Sanrio, um, Kushin, Tokidoki stuff. So it's really nice going there and seeing what's new every time I go. So first thing I picked up is the Sumiko Gurashi Tashi. They have a Round the World series. So this was their England version. It's the little dinosaur guy dressed up as Sherlock Holmes. I like how they changed the um, changed the coloring scheme to match his regular dinosaur colors. So that's pretty cool. He's got a magnifying glass ready to solve crimes. He's got a little book and his face is embroidered. So that's, um, you know, that's a sign of a nicer plushie. It'll last longer. And he's really soft. It's like a little deer stalker hat. I like that. He's even got the little bow on the top for the deer stalker hat. It's I actually don't know if there's bows on the top normally, but that's pretty cool and I just noticed that now, so I'm very excited. Um, I don't know this little guy's name, but he's he's usually this little dinosaur guy. So it's a bunch of them, they like sitting in the corner for some reason. It's okay, I, I think he's adorable. Um, I don't know the full story behind him, but I'm a sucker for Sherlock Holmes related products. I'm a Sherlock Holmes machine, so very very excited to add this little guy to my collection. Set him over here. Next thing I got at Little Japan LA is this Gudetama sponge. Yay! It's gonna help you cook, sort of, meh, maybe. Who knows, right? So this, this side is the hard rubber side and then the other side is the normal soft sponge side. I'm excited about this little guy. I'm trying to get more practical things as you can see. So the, Next item I got is this Rila Kuma mirror. Mirror! You can actually stand him up like this and then you can do your makeup or whatever and, and have Rila Kuma. The only downside is, is that there's nothing protecting the mirror side if you want to travel. So you're going to have to come up with like a separate little tote for him so that he doesn't get damaged during transit. Last thing I got from Japan LA to go with the practical purchases is this Rilakkuma calico mug. So it's it's him. There he is. It's dressed up as calico. There's another cat over here. Another uh, Ko Rilakkuma dressed up as cat. And and for some reason another cat that looks kind of like Rilakkuma but not Rilakkuma. Who knows, right? And so the cool thing is when you're drinking out of the mug you can see there's a little Rilakkuma kitten there. Super cute. Um, I don't need another mug, but I needed this mug. So I'm going to have to purge some other mug to make space for this one. Okay. That was that little guy. So that was, that was Japan LA. Next place I stopped at was a used and new video game store called World 8. It looks like the independently owned video game store, and I like supporting those when I can. Um, it's actually my first time there. First time that I saw it, they were it was pretty late. I wasn't sure about checking on a new area at like 10.30 at night, so you know, I made it a point to come back this time. So I picked up this little guy. It's Chris Redfield Nidoroid. He's got a rocket launcher. He's got a second face, as you can see here. And then he's got a green herb. I didn't notice that until I got home, so I'm pretty excited about that. Um, he's got a little combat knife, different hands to hold the weapons with, and a little stand to put him, of course. I, I always really like the Netroids. They're, they're very well made. There's, I've never had a complaint about any of the painting on them. And I'm, I'm very glad to add him to my collection. I really wish they made a Leon Kennedy one. Um, Leon's my favorite character, but yeah, this is almost also, we also went through an adventure together, so 
glad to add him to my collection. Let's see. So that was World 8. Next place I stopped to was the Koreatown Galleria. I wanted to check out their beauty supply stores and also to see if they have any cute clothes with cats on them. Um, they didn't have clothes per se, but they did have lots of socks with cats. So I got, got some of those. I'm very excited. They're, they're much easier to collect, more practical, and I can actually wear them. So and they're a lot cheaper. They're a couple bucks a pop, maybe. So very excited about those cat socks. And so I finally made my way to Little Tokyo. Stopped by the store called Fickle Wish. They sell um, Japanese cute kawaii clothing and also uh, plushies, which is the reason why I went in. So when I actually got inside, I found they sold Liz Lisa, which was a Japanese brand of clothing. Found this cute skirt with a rose print. I like the detail in the belt area. And it's got elastic in the back, so I don't have to regret life after lunch. Very excited. This is a free-sized skirt. I wear a size 6, 8, closer to a 6 right now because it's I haven't had lunch yet. <laughs> Um, and so it fits. I'm very excited. It's a decent length skirt with very nice, durable feeling material. Um, glad to add this to my work and cuteness collection. And then went to the Sanrio store. It's very sad when they closed the Sanrio store near my house. So um, made it a point to stop here when I went. The lady gave me a, a, a little goodie time of charm. On my bag and the reason was that I picked up Uretama tree topper sort of practical even though it's kind of a plushie but but also practical right um, so I'm hoping he's gonna fit on my tiny Christmas tree he's got his warm blanket he's got a little hat um, he's got made of some sort of weird squishy material it's really not plushy material Inside, like outside, it's normal plush stuff. Very nice quality. And uh, embroidered face, like I mentioned. That's a sign of a good plushie. And in the back, it says Merry Christmas. And then this this is the part where you put on the top of the tree. Hopefully he'll fit on my Christmas tree. If not, um, I'll just put him on my desk or something. He'll be fine. I'm trying to place him out there. Let's see. And then, next place I stopped by is this clothing store that I like stopping by because they, the, the lady that owns the store is very nice and she also has a cat roaming around inside the store. Used to be a pair of them, but now there's just the one cat at the store. So that's pretty cool. The cat's like 20 years old, looks gorgeous because she really takes good care of the cat. So she, I like stopping by her store because she's got cute, Clothing that you don't, you know, you're not going to look the same as everybody else because they're um, low run clothing. So there's not a lot of pieces of them. And this is a really cute dress that I got for work. It's got a bow. It's got this off white trim and uh, just a nice A-line black dress. It's super practical for work. Very comfortable. So I'm excited about that. Fits really well. So that's cool. And then the last place I stopped at was the Kinokuniya store. Because I like stationery. Stationery makes me feel organized and uh, you know, just feel better being prepared for work. First, first item I got was this Rila Kuma 2018 calendar. It's, it's got a little it's paper stand here. You can fold that into place and it just sits at your desk. And then every month has its own page. So here's May. Most excited about November because look, he's a little detective. That reminds me, I have to go investigate some cupcakes after I finish recording this. Add that to my to do list for today. That is Rilakuma. Next thing I got is this little Japanese paperclip dispenser thing. Uh, so you, you load these little paper clips into the top here and then it just you apply it to a stack of paper. Really doesn't make that much sense until you see these, the little paper clips with happy faces on it. 
and it varies. There's different kinds of happy faces in there. So I'm very excited about using these for work because um, I kind of like sometimes having paper to flip through. And then the last thing I got is this Keaton post-it note. Look at that. Look at that. I like cats. I like stationery, hence cat stationery. All right, so that's it for my haul uh, for my LA trip. I do want to introduce the little, little guy. His name is Snowball. He's from Overwatch. Um, he's adorable because he's a little weather robot and his ears pose when you bend him and you can actually change his little face. Um, he's got different expressions. The reason I mentioned him is I just got him last week and he's just super adorable. Also, he's got feet. He's got feet. Look at that. My boyfriend tells me they're thrusters, not feet, but he's got feet. There's no talking sense in me. So that's it for my whole video plus bonus snowball review. Um, definitely worth 35 bucks if you want to get him. He's super adorable. So ah, I got him. I got him. He's fine. All right. So that's it. Thanks.